Hey everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat. And I just want to share a project with you that I made. And before I do, I wanted to share with you what I used. The first being this Lawn Fawn Riley's ABC stamp set. The next is a stamp set from Mama Elephant called Hello Friend Wishes. And I used the Hello Friend on that one. And then the last one is this Sweet and Sassy. I love Sweet and Sassy stamps. They have the best sentiments. I use this flower cluster right here of poppies. And then I use this I Saw Jesus in You sentiment. And I made an address book. Oh, I also used my Stampin' Up! tab punch I don't have a name on it but it looks like this and I'm pretty sure it's retired but any tab punch that you have would work and so I believe those are all the supplies I use with the exception of some cardstock and oh I also used this um, Fabriano Artistico 100% uh, watercolor paper for the front cover and that's it and I'll be right back to share it with you all right everybody this is what I made I also I forgot to mention that I used my uh, Tim Holtz distress inks to watercolor the image with and I used my VersaFine onyx black ink to stamp my image and a just a gold gel pen that I had in my stash and we have the sweetest um, elderly lady that lives next door and one of her friends her house burnt down and she lost her address book which my first thought was why don't she have it in her phone <laughs> and then I remembered I was talking about an 80 year old lady who is lucky to just use her phone to make calls with and is very happy and content doing that. So then it made sense to me why the lady lost her address book in the fire. I'm a little slow witted. I've been stuck in this house for almost or for over two months. I went to the doctors on Thursday just for medicine, just to get my medicine refills. And that was the first time I'd been out in two months. So I'm a little scatterbrained and not thinking real clear. But, so Miss Vaughn, as sweet as she is, she went and got all of this lady. She tracked down every address that the lady had in her book. And she's got them all together. And what she wants to do is make her, wanted to make her a new address book. So I made the book. I'm sorry, guys. Any other time, my husband never messages. And now he's just going text happy. And I just used some red cardstock that matched, or I tried to match the poppies, and as my dividers. Now, I, I only had 10 sheets of paper, so I had to make, I could only make 20 dividers, and there's 26 letters. So, back here in the back, I got a little, you know, XYZ I figured could go to together. U, V, and W could go together. I put um, P and Q together and N and O together so that, you know, I could have 20 dividers. I printed out the pages. They're double sided. I did those on my computer in uh, my publisher program. And if you're interested in them, let me know. I I will try to share them. I don't know how to share them other than in Publisher. And, but I may be able to change it to a PDF. So if you're interested, you know, and you want these, let me know. I'll be more than happy to share them with you. And you can see here where I just stamped the letters onto the tabs. And the tab doubles over so it's nice and thick. I put the letters on both sides. And so there is enough room for 40 of each letter, 40 names for each letter. So I hope that's enough. I mean, I can make more 
and you know get the rings apart i used my um we are memory keeper cinch to bind it i had to use i think a one and a half inch ring binding wire because it, it is pretty thick there's like 125 pages of or over 125 pages of just the address pages not counting the binding or the dividers and the thick front cover and then I just used heavy chipboard for the back and so that's what it looks like and I was really happy to make it for her, and I really hope she likes it I kind of wish I had dropped the flowers down a little bit because it bothers me that it went over but my daughter keeps saying it looks fine I'm just you know just a little tweaked about it <laughs> Other than that, I like the book, and I hope that she does. And I had hoped to have the name, the letters so that you could see them with the cover on. It's a tight fit. But, you know, if you open the front cover, then, of course, you can see all of your letters without any problem. But it is a 5 by 7 book, and the pages on the inside here are 7 inches long, by four and three quarters inches wide because I want I didn't want them to cover up the letters so for the you know for the dividers and that's it guys it was really fun to make and I'm enjoying playing with these watercolors and I hope that you like it if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about the watercoloring let me know um, I did put up the beginning of a watercolor video sharing me watercoloring with some magnolia tilde images but i'm really loving coloring with some coloring flowers and i've got some more projects planned using different floral images so i may record some of that if anyone is interested in seeing how i do it so if you are let me know i've got two different kinds of watercolor paper that i'm using and both of them are working great with the um, distress inks and so I'm having a lot of fun <laughs> all right if you have any questions leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them and remember to practice your CPR craft pray repeat thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting love you all bye